What a pretty view. I know, all the different color leaves. I think my favorite though, scarlet ember. They all just look orange to me. They seem to really be in peak all over the road. Tell me about it, blowing everywhere. I even saw one in blue. Blue leaves? Well, I guess the proper name is deep blue pearl. What? What? Huh? Wait, what? Are we talking about the same thing? I'm talking about that, the Nissan Leaf. Uh, We're lab testing the 2019 SL Plus. <sighs> Want to check it out? Okay. Hold up, hold up. Wait, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Not this leaf, but that is a pretty big leaf. Look how big that is. No, real quick, just wanted to make a couple points. Yes, it's me. No, I did not perm my hair. This is my natural curls. I just didn't feel like blowing it out for the week. But before we get to the actual leaf, I wanted to just say thanks for watching. But also I'm told I'm supposed to give some kind of like mating call. No, that's not right. A call to action. I really don't like doing this, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. Subscribe to our channel. It's as simple as that. It's not like it's a tattoo. It doesn't get stuck on your skin forever. You can always undo it if you decide you hate us. But if you are watching, click it. Thanks so much. All right, let's get back to the new sun. This is the SL Plus. It's got more range and power. It can go approximately 226 miles where the standard leaf goes 150. And I didn't realize this, but the leaf has become the best-selling electric vehicle in the world. Because let's be honest, you can't do without it. It's electric. Walking, walking, walking. Nissan has made this thing so much more affordable. It's not just for the elite, which means more fun to go around, hey! And if you go on the Nissan website, it is so easy. Ah, hold on, UPS is here. Andy just got a little special package, but you'll see this next week. Anyway, as I was saying, if you go on the Nissan website, okay, they make it so easy to figure out in-home charging systems. Click on the link, brings you right to Amazon with a bunch of different options, which honestly makes it much less daunting if you're new to this. Plus, it means you don't always have to rely on public charging stations. However, those public chargers are definitely gonna be the faster way to go, especially with a level three DC quick charge. It takes about 45 minutes to reach 80%, and sometimes they're even free. <laughs> I heard you could charge for free at a Nissan dealership, so uh, we're looking for it. Look at that. A spot just for us. Ha! Any, many, money, mo. Charging and chilling. I think this is gonna take a while. End at nine o'clock? We're not waiting here that long. This is the legit one. We're at the free one. So uh, we decided to leave. Let me clarify. So the smaller port, that's what you get for free at the Nissan dealership. It's kind of like what you'd use at home with your plug-in. Slow. Meanwhile, that other big port, fast. That's where you want to plug into. If it wasn't for the beeps and the display screen, you'd actually have to do a double take to know if this thing were on or not. I've learned that engine noise can be a major source of anxiety for many dogs, so you don't have to worry about that in here. This thing is so smooth, when you push on the accelerator, it goes. There is no lag, which is great because it gives you the confidence if you really need to pull out in front of someone. It also kind of feels like a crossover, which I like. And to make things even more fun, check this switch out down here. It has an e-pedal, which basically means you can pretty much drive using a one pedal, the wow. accelerator. This thing will speed up, slow down, even come to a full stop. Yes, very different from your traditional driving experience, but the first time I drove an all-electric vehicle was in the Jaguar I-Pace. And at first I was like, whoa, whoa, it's a little jerky. But in this Nissan, I have to say, 
smooth. You don't feel like you're coming to like an abrupt stop. Then I read Nissan actually reprogrammed the e-pedal to have a smoother operation. I feel it and I like it. And I'm pretty sure Andy appreciates it too. No one likes jerking around back there. Okay, push it. Woo, those wheels went. <laughs> Did you hear that? And to really spice things up, this has ProPilot Assist. It's currently driving for me. Now, it does want you to keep your hands on the wheel, so you gently just kind of keep tapping the wheel, touch base with it, but you just set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Well, not really, but this thing will maintain the distance you set. Even if it comes to a full stop, it will resume which is honestly great if you have a long commute home, if you're feeling a little tired. And there's also a Nissan Connect EV app, which basically allows you to even control the temperature in the cabin while it's charging. So that is great if you're traveling with pets. And the Plus is loaded with advanced safety features. And I also really like the cameras. Top-down view, it's nice and clear. Plus, it beeps a little bit to notify people around because this thing is so silent. And this model has an 8-inch color touchscreen and, as you can see, smartphone compatible. Overall, the interior is clean, sight lines are nice, you got these little extra cutouts which help bring in some additional light. Turn to the rear, looks like that. Hi, Andy. And the seats are also a little extra special in here. I mean, is this Alcantara? It feels like it. And the blue stitching? Some might say, but I do have to say the lumbar support is legit in here, very nice. And when it comes to that second row seat, you got a 60-40 split back here, nice leg room. You see there's a hump in the middle, but there's this plastic trim on top, which is kind of cool because it will keep it nice and clean. Traditional seat backs, a little bit of storage in the doors. No vents though, so you're going to have to pump it from the front for your fur kid to feel it in the back. Honestly, it feels kind of spacious in here. And that rear, and while it holds true back here too, great space, I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit more flat in this cargo area. Yes, this is a hatchback, but it kind of reminds me more of a trunk you would find in a traditional sedan. Andy's bed fits best horizontally. And truth be told, when I plopped it in here, she jumped right in without any hesitation. When you close the hatch, her head is nowhere near the glass, but the Bose system juts right into her bed. I wish you could either elevate the floor a little bit over the Bose system or raise it high enough so that it's flush with those second row seats when you plop them down. And since we're back here, it comes with a hard top cargo cover and a super beefy charging cable. It is seriously heavy. I think you could get an arm workout if you did bicep curls with this. Ugh. And you see this right here? Nope, it's not a laundry basket. Although I guess it could be. But this is where you store this big old thing. I like that special storage, that's unique. As a matter of fact, there are a handful of things we found unique about this leaf. For starters, the gear shifter. Look at this thing. Flat bottom steering wheel, that's kind of sporty. Running low on a charge and you don't know where you are, tap right here and a charging station is near. Plus, this thing gives you tips on how to maximize your battery life super angled charging port. Actually, Nissan did a study, an ergonomic study, and they discovered that a 45 degree angle was best for all heights. Your shorts, mediums, your giants, will all find this comfortable. Medium height, that's pretty easy. Shorty height, yep. Riding nice and high. Yep, that's easy. Zero emission, here, here, here. It's everywhere. Blue exterior details to match that inside. Open space when you push down the second row seat. 
And yes, I need a pedicure. Don't look too close. I bet that will be helpful when you're cleaning. I'm stuck. Ugh. Oh man. Ow. Ugh. Front door opens at an insanely wide angle. Look how big that is. You could fit a gorilla in there. Three main ways to charge and multiple ports. Big thanks to Nissan for letting us lab test this leaf. It is honestly a great option if you are looking to go electric. And Andy agrees. Is it lab approved? She's telling me it is. Now if you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed, do it! What are you waiting for? And if you follow Andy on Instagram, we'll be posting photos of this leaf all week. Now before Andy goes to sleep, we will see you next time. Bye!